Chris, and I'm going to talk a little bit about phosphorus and the phosphorus cycle. Phosphorus is an element with the symbol P and the atomic number 15. Phosphorus is very reactive, so it's never found on Earth as a free element. Rather, it's often bound to another element like oxygen to make the phosphate ion PO4. Phosphorus is found in many things like toothpaste, matches, and fertilizer. Phosphorus used to be found in detergents, but many countries have banned their use now, so most detergents are phosphate free. In biological systems, phosphorus is often found in DNA and RNA, ATP and ADP, and cell membranes. A human body contains about one kilogram of phosphates, most of that is in our bones and our teeth. The phosphorus cycle is known as a sedimentary cycle because phosphorus never enters the atmosphere like nitrogen or carbon. Most phosphorus in the world is found in sediments and rocks underneath the ocean floor. These rocks are lifted up through geological processes to become ridges and mountains. These rocks are then weathered and eroded by rain, and then phosphorus becomes available to plants in the soil. Herbivores eat the plants, carnivores eat the herbivores, and if any of those things die or excrete wastes, that phosphorus is then available for plants to use. If plants don't use that phosphorus, then rain washes it away into streams and rivers and back into the ocean, where it becomes sediments and rocks again, and the cycle continues. Phosphorus is a limiting reactant in many ecosystems. What this means is that if there's an increase in phosphorus, there will be an increase in growth of many organisms within an ecosystem. This is especially true in marine ecosystems, where an increase in phosphorus allows algae to grow out of control. Algae then uses all the oxygen, starving fish and plants of the oxygen that they need to live. Excess phosphorus often comes from agriculture, where phosphorus is included in fertilizers, and it's also in the waste of farm animals.